Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here. Beautiful Pittsburgh, PA. Talking about social media this week. Big time. Boiling it down. Why? Instagram. First, please go to Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter if you have not yet already. You'll actually get a free uh, webinar that I made a few months ago about an intro to podcasting. Uh, if you're looking to get in that, do something cool like this and get your voice heard. Very literally, your voice, not just your Twitter machine, not just your Facebook uh, kitten sharing, your voice, uh, sorgatron.com newsletter. All right, Instagram. Why Instagram? Well, I think I think the obvious thing is it's visual. Are you, um, one, are you a photographer? You should be there uh, to show your stuff off. Um, Instagram, uh, much like we talk about Twitter, kind of started as a limited texting kind of situation. Um, Instagram is very much like this is an app on your phone and you put pictures into it. And of course we can do other things, but the whole idea is I can take a picture, think I can make it look better with these filters that they put, they put in there, these diabolical picture filters that the, that the photographers hate. And it's a visual social network, right? There's, there's so much they don't put in there. You know, much like we talk about Twitter has adapted over the years and made things clickable and linkable and that replies. Um, still, you can't put an active web link in an Instagram post. You can do hashtags that takes you to other places within Instagram. You can put a link that you can click in your profile and people have hacked around that as well. But you're taking pictures, you're posting pictures. That's it. That's it. Taking pictures, posting pictures. Um, this works really well, personally, if you're just like taking pictures of your food, your cat, you know, whatever the case may be, you can be a social person on there visually. I think it's interesting. I enjoy it. I definitely enjoy it. Um, if you're a brand of some sort, if you're a visual brand, I think you have problems if you're maybe a doctor, there's nothing you can show off. Um, but, uh, the, the uh, Met for instance, the Metropolitan uh, Museum up there in New York City has a lot of art that you can Instagram. <laughs> a lot of interesting things in the uh, in the in the, in a museum. You can show those off. Uh, it make that that makes sense. You just you just show that off. Um, and then again, the everything every conversation is then anchored to those pictures. You have a stream of pictures that you scroll through. Uh, once again, no no real algorithm at work here, like Facebook, like the timeline where you're like, eh, is everybody going to see this post? No, everybody will see the post if they're if they're scrolled by it on on in chronologically in your stream, much like Twitter, for the most part, even though that's changing. Uh, the only difference is, you, I mean, now that you have sponsored posts, but you have sponsored posts in all these things that get inserted here and there. Okay, no problem. Okay, they're not terribly annoying just yet. Um, going back to the why, uh, show off, really show off, and ha have that conversation around visuals. Again, if you're if you're a museum, you, th you can show the images that are happening. If you're uh, a yoga studio and you're doing something like the yoga at the point that I see all the time. Uh, that's something visually interesting. I use it personally um, in my personal Instagram, which I I mix my personal and my business all the time, uh, as far as I'm concerned. But it's everything from me putting uh, eyes on a uh, a, a coffee creamer uh, dispenser and making a talk and video uh, to uh, hey, this is me behind the camera uh, working with the Pittsburgh Foundation today, or working on this project, or working on a music video, right? It's, uh, I'm able to visually represent, look, this is what my life is like. That sounds pretentious. Uh, but no, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Hey, look, what is it? look, I'm, I'm filming this thing. Hey, look, I'm doing this. And, and I hope that establishes, um, I want people to know who I am. I want people to know what I do. Uh, so it maybe creates opportunities to work with other people, you know. Um, oh, I see him out with his camera shooting things all the time. Oh, he's been doing that. Oh, he works on these with these kind of people. Maybe he can work with uh, my kind of people. You know, um, that's that's my kind of representation that happens there. Uh, and I also have fun 
and actually been having fun lately with quote cards. That's a, that's another story, and maybe another experiment we'll have another episode on. Um, and again, people, um, there was a, so is that uh, you know Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Foundation. Our uh, friend Christopher Willatch is really good about the storytelling around social media, and was talking about images and what they tell. And he showed an image of 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 a, basically a mini kitchen somebody had set up under a bridge to talk about homeless and I should help uh, homeless shelters. Uh, that's a very striking visual story that maybe doesn't need a lot of words, other than maybe a call to action: "Hey, please donate. Hey, please help." You know. Um, and that carries over. Uh, Instagram is um, is very linked into Facebook. So if you're if you're generating something for Instagram, you could be also generating something for Facebook, and that visual stuff uh, works better um, for for everybody uh, in Facebook. More people will see that in Facebook if you're carrying that over to your page, your personal profile. Um, and again, it just kind of keeps going with that um, with that storytelling, with that visual storytelling, with that getting that out there. Uh, certainly. So, um, other than that, uh, I, I think, uh, uh, again, just, just deal with the visual storytelling. Um, if that makes sense for you, if you're even showing the people, um, there is video there. There is something that they've, they've, uh, added in the recent years, uh, was video. It's short 15, 15 seconds. I think there's some very in inventive uses of it. Um, but again, just to show a glimpse of whatever is going around in your practice, in your product, in your in your people, in your service, in your day to day, uh, whatever the case may be. Uh, when we're when we're, um, we're we're actually diving in, think. Oh, here's the other thing. Thankfully, there's multiple accounts. So if you have a personal Instagram, it's not that hard now for you to have a second Instagram for your business. Whew. That's been a pain in my butt for years. And now the floodgates are open as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, and, and that easy use is that lowering the barrier, as I always talk about, is really going to help a lot of people kind of expand out. And a lot of businesses, I think, expand out and do interesting things on there as well. So, but be social as well. Uh, talk with others, you know, uh, with all of these. You need, to, you need to discuss with other people. It's a conversation. It's social. Uh, so reaching out and having conversations around other things, uh, looking for hashtags that make sense to your core business, right? Um, for wrestling, man, I'm sure I can look up pro wrestling or WWE and say, hey, yeah, that was pretty crazy last night, you know? Um, and again, engage with people in a certain fashion. Uh, I don't apply. I don't apply enough time for stuff like that, unfortunately, but nobody does. You know, I mean, we're all busy and then trying to carve out time, especially if you're trying to get out there. I can understand it can be very hard. I mean, that's another episode in itself. So uh, Instagram, check it out. Let me know if you're on it. Let me know if you're doing anything interesting on it that you know, seems to be getting uh, some traction. Actually, I'll tell you exactly what I did that got some surprising traction. Use your hashtags for one thing. I know our friends at the International Wrestling Cartel, which is a fantastic account, IWC underscore wrestling. Um, there is a fantastic photographer over there. Uh, taking the pictures of the wrestling shows, and he does a lot of uh, graphic work um, on the images, and they're one stunning, and two very again informative. Like it's hey, you know, there's a site. Here's this person. Um, it's it it shows a lot of the personalities there in the promotion, right? And uh, and very hashtag heavy, and like and and it was amazing. I was I was amazed by. Some of these guys who were debuting with the promotion and and they were writing these background stories. I don't think there had been people um, that have debuted in professional wrestling that already had so much story to them for the people walking in the door to see it, see them. Um, usually it's guy A uh, with whatever horrible name that he chose and he has whatever horrible tights that he chose. And uh, and something gets developed maybe six six months down the line after he he learned to be in the ring a little bit right and uh, I think that's a really good thing and then seeing them explode I mean they last I knew they were like seven or eight hundred followers from from nothing basically um, and then the thing that I did uh, kind of a lampoon a little bit I, I made made it a little fun uh, you guys always see those uh, kind of quote cards from the thought leaders in the industry and we're like that wasn't really a good quote when we we're looking at one the other day. And I was like, hold on a second. So uh, I, I took a picture of myself at Eaton Park, uh, turned up black and white, and said, picture quotes. Sometimes they can't all be winners. Put a little hashtag social media and social media marketing and just saw it climb to 
70 plus likes in like five minutes. I mean, that's the kind of thing. If you, you obviously we hit a nerve there, and uh, and 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 I play with that a little bit more. So let me know what you think of Instagram, Sorgatron.com, Sorgatron Media. Uh, drop a line at SorgatronMedia.com uh, or PsychicMediaServices.com. we got a great contact page um, there. That uh, And ask me any questions about Instagram. Uh, if, you have, if you have any questions uh, about how to use it, how you should apply it, uh, or anything like that, or if I will friend you, um, Sorgatron on there as well. Uh, let me know. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.